so this is kavin prasad and sanjit taufik from sri krishna vidya college of arts and science so we are here to give our presentation about cyber security threats and prevention so first we should know what is cyber security so cyber security is the practice of protecting system networks and program from digital attacks the cyber attacks are usually aimed to accessing changing or destroying sensitive informations exhorting money from users via ransom or interrupting normal business process so mainly the cyber security cyber attacks are gone through ransom attacks phishing attacks and data breaches so first ransom attacks it is a highly a highly malware attack that encrypts encrypts files and demand payment for their release so in this the hackers used to take some data from our system and they used to uh, ask for the ransom or, or else they will try to release the data or sell it to someone else so it will be uh, threatened to our data next phishing it is a deceptive email or websites that trick user into revealing sensitive information this is more similar to ransom attacks but in here they use just, they just uh, uh, sell or just, uh, release or data and information through, uh, through through the internet so it, it is uh, for that they get access to our data through uh, emails uh, emails via spam mails and then data breaches it is an un- unauthorized access to sensitive data resulting uh, in a financial loss and reputational damage so uh, it is mostly occurs in a business uh, companies or enterprises uh, hackers uh, the opposition company hackers try to access to the, uh, the company's data and uh, take uh, get, take their access to some sensitive content so it may lead to a great fall in in their financial financial background as well as uh, uh, to their reputation house then to safeguard uh, so what can we do to safeguard our business so to safeguard our business we can uh, uh, do some of the steps like we can uh, implement some strong passwords so if you if our uh, password is uh, really strong to guess uh, it, it will be little bit uh, tough to for hackers to access to uh, to our mail id or a uh, accounts so we we should uh, regularly update or change our password so it can it can be more uh, more safe uh, and regular update of software uh, the, in this if we are using some older versions of software it will be less secure than the newer versions because so there may be some attacks happen to some other person who have used that same software uh, in our older older versions so in new updates they uh, the companies used to give some updates and fix the patch uh, fix the bugs in that uh, securities uh, and they will uh, uh, make it more secure so it is uh, really necessary to use the reg- updated versions of a software then train our employees so in this we should train our employer or company employees about uh, about these steps like uh, implementing of strong passwords and uh, regular update uh, to re- up- regularly update the software so that they can be be safe from the cyber threats like phishing and uh, uh, other on uh, other online via threats so next uh, some human elements so this is more similar ma'am so we should train our employee they should know what, uh, what are all the ways they can be get uh, threatened by hackers uh, threatened by hackers uh, to and get access to our data so if if they are educated about those things uh, it will be more helpful to to protect the, to protect and prevent them from those attacks so some some preventions like we, uh, we uh, from so some preventions to our data data are like uh, data breaches like uh, so we should take regular backups of our data so if our data is uh, lost or uh, got deleted we can get uh, get our uh, data back from our backups and next 
network segmentation uh, for companies it, it will be a large network so instead of maintaining it as a large network we can isolate different parts of the network to a limited spread of my uh, limited uh, portion so that it will be limit it will limit the spread of malware and continuous security monitoring using tools and uh, technologies to monitor the network for potential threats and uh, vulnerabilities so that we can assign a team for the uh, data security so that they will regularly monitor uh, monitor the, the security actions and if there is any suspicious action they will, they can take uh, the immediate action and protect our data ma'am so thank you ma'am actually my team it's uh, said is not able to speak for, uh, due to some uh, medical issues ma'am is suffering from throat pain so really sorry for that ma'am yes, thank you ma'am thank you thank-